Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. Today we'll discuss about financial statement. The basis for financial planning, analysis and decision making is the financial information. And financial information is needed to predict, compare and evaluate the firm's earning ability. It is also required to aid in economic decision making like investment and financing decision making. The financial information of an enterprise is contained in the financial statements or we can say accounting reports. And there are three basic financial statements of great significance to the owners, management and investors and these can be named as you must already have been aware about it like balance sheet, profit and loss statement and cash flow statement. So financial statements provides information about the financial activities and the position of the firm. So as far as balance sheet is concerned it is most significant financial statement and uh, it indicates the financial condition or you can say the state of affairs of the business at a particular moment of time. So the validity of balance sheet can be said to be for a particular moment not for a particular period. More specifically balance sheet contains information about resources and the obligations of a business entity and uh, about its owner's interest in the business at a particular point of time. So in a typical balance sheet what we find is uh, assets and liabilities uh, in assets as we have already discussed like uh, fixed assets are there, current assets are there and uh, uh, in the liability we have long term liability and uh, um, short term or what we can say current liabilities. So uh, we don't need to explain everything about financial rather balance sheet because uh, fixed assets, uh, net asset, tangible asset, intangible asset all has been discussed previously. So um, in my previous videos so we'll move to the significance of profit and loss statement. So although the balance sheet is uh, considered as a very significant statement by bankers and uh, other lenders and uh, because it indicates the firm's financial solvency and liquidity as measured by its uh, resources and obligations as we can see that it indicates the financial position or financial condition of a firm at a specific point of time. So however the creditors particularly bankers and uh, other financial analysts have recently started paying more attention to the firm's earning capacity as a measure of its financial strength. The earning capacity and uh, what we can say is uh, potential of a firm are reflected by its profit and loss statement. The profit and loss statement can be said to be a scoreboard or scorecard of firm's performance during a period of time. Now the generally accepted convention is to show one's uh, profit and loss account for one particular year and since the profit and loss account reflects the results of the operation for a period of time it is a flow statement. 
in contrast to the balance sheet uh, is a stock or what we can say status statement uh, which is for a particular period of uh, particular point of time sorry uh, profit and loss account is for a particular period of time so it's a flow statement rather than a status statement which uh, we can say about the balance sheet coming to the next slide we have to uh, understand the change in financial position now the balance sheet gives a summary of firms resources and obligation at a point of time as we already know whereas the profit and loss account reflects the result of business operations by summarizing the revenue and the expenses for a period of time both of these statements fail to explain the change in assets liability and owner's equity the balance sheet uh, gives a static view of sources and uses of fund but it doesn't indicate the change of or the cause of change of uh, these sources and uses or the moment of finance between two years two periods the change in owner's equity is partly reflected through the profit and loss account but besides profit owner's equity may change due to uh, other factors like uh, additional investment or maybe withdrawal of profit therefore an additional statement is needed to show the changes in assets liabilities and owner's equity between dates of two balance sheet such a statement is referred to as the statement of change in financial position this statement summarizes the change in asset and liability resulting from the financial and the investment transaction during the period as well as those changes which are resulted due to change in owner's equity as well as the way in which the firm used its financial resources during the period and the two most commonly used statement that we have here is fund flow statement and the cash flow statement now we come to the financial analysis part so what actually is the meaning of financial analysis it's a process of identifying financial strength and weakness of the firm as we can see in the slide like by property establishing relationship between items of the balance sheet and the profit and loss account now the financial statement can be taken by the management of the firm or maybe parties outside the firm like uh, owners creditors investors and many others so these can be the users of financial analysis like trade creditors suppliers of long de uh, long term debt investors management and each of these users have a different motive or a different way to analyze financial an uh, statement like uh, they have a different interest that's why they have a different analysis like uh, if you take uh, example of the trade creditors they are interested in firms ability to pay uh, short term debts and uh, that's why uh, they are mainly interested in the liquidity position of the company so uh, they are going to analyze uh, the financial statement in a way which uh, can represent the liquidity position of the firm same goes with uh, the supplier of the long term debts and uh, investors and management 
So now we need to understand what are the tools that uh, can be used for financial analysis. One of the most powerful tool of financial analysis is ratio. Ratio analysis has been used by many of the investors and uh, many of persons interested in a company's venture or maybe a company's business. So first of all we need to understand what is a ratio. So as we can see a ratio is a relationship between two variables. Here we have explained about the financial ratio but in general a ratio is a relationship between two variables and uh, these variables has same nature so here we have financial ratio and we are trying to find out the relationship between two accounting numbers now with the help of these ratios a person can make a qualitative judgment about the firm's financial performance we can also say that uh, ratios help to summarize large quantity of financial data and those a ratio reflects quantitative relationship which helps to form a qualitative judgment. Now we have to understand that a single ratio in itself does not indicate favorable or unfavorable condition. And a ratio analysis involves comparison of ratios for useful interpretation of the financial statement. Now it can be compared or it should be compared with some standards. So the standards of comparison may consist of past ratio, competitors ratio, industry ratio or maybe projected ratio. So analysis can be in a way of like a time series analysis or interfirm analysis, industry analysis, maybe perform a financial statement analysis. So now I'll explain each of them one by one. So what do we mean by time series analysis? It's a comparison of the ratio of one particular firm with its own performance for the past years. So the past ratios of the firm will be compared with the present ratio. And this is called a time series analysis. Now the second one is interfirm analysis which is also called as interfirm analysis or cross-sectional analysis. So with this one is uh, another way of comparing ratios or we can say another way of making comparison. So here different firms from one particular industry is compared to suggest where a particular firm is in better off position with respect to the other firms. So here the time horizon of the comparison remains the same while the firms are different and the ratios for each firm is getting compared. Now coming to the industry analysis here what we do is uh, we maintain uh, average ratios of the industry and uh, we compare 
and the firm's particular ratio with the corresponding ratio of the industry. It helps us to ascertain the financial standing and the capability of the firm with respect to other firms in the industry. Although there are some practical difficulties in using the industry ratios, like it is difficult to get uh, average ratios for the industry and even industries even if uh, industries ratios are available they are they are average and uh, average of the ratio of strong and weak firms so sometimes difference may be so wide that uh, average may be uh, of little utility and finally we have performa financial statement analysis so here the futures future ratios are used as the standard of comparison now future ratios can be developed uh, from the projected or the performa uh, financial statements and the comparison of the current or past with future ratios shows the firm's relative strength and weakness in the past and the future the futures ratios indicates weak financial position corrective action should be initiated now coming to the ratios we have four types of ratios liquidity ratios leverage activity ratios and probability uh, profitability ratios so the types of ratios and uh, how it works will be explained in my next video hope this video helps you understand the financial statement analysis thank you for watching this